Good day, everyone, and welcome to Daily Devotions. Our Daily Devotion for today, Thursday, September the 23rd, comes to us from the Gospel of Mark. We're looking at Mark chapter 9, verses 38 to 50. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. For truly I tell you, Whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter eternal life maimed than to have two hands and to go to hell, to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than to have two feet and to be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into hell, where their worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. For everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its saltiness, how can you season it? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. Teacher, Sam isn't following directions. We tried to tell him, but he won't listen. Such words begin already when we're young, don't they? We worry about who isn't listening or who is doing something they shouldn't. We talk to them directly, but if they don't respond, we tell someone else, usually someone else in authority. Often we tell the person we can, who can really do something about it, right? Maybe mom and dad, maybe a teacher. Sometimes this is helpful. Sometimes it isn't. As adults, we need to know why we're saying something. Is it for the other person's protection or our own? John's words to Jesus sound very similar to those of the young man talking to Moses earlier this week. Both are concerned about someone unauthorized doing the Lord's work. Jesus gives a similar answer as Moses. Let him continue because he is doing my work. We are not the gatekeepers to decide who does the Lord's work. There is plenty of work for all. Let us pray. Jesus, help us to be fully accepting of all who do your work, as we are all your disciples. May words of thanks and praise flow from our lips to those doing your work in this world. Amen. Grace and peace be with you this day and every day. And I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Be well.